For RCR Wireless News, my name is Sean Kinney. We're here at Mobile World Congress in Barcelona to speak with ZTE and Intel a little bit more about their light cloud solution. So obviously both companies have a long history of innovation. You decided to co-innovate on bringing light cloud to life. So can you tell us a little bit about ZTE's role in developing this product? Mm -hmm. So with ZTE, we are the first in the industry to launch the light cloud solution. And thank uh, Intel for their su uh, strong support in this solution. For the light cloud solution, we think uh, uh, it uh, uh, use the building blade to load the computing and storage capabilities in the telecom access device OLT. And so it enables the access network to virtualization without the uh, reconstruction of the access office. And it can also provide the uh, high bandwidth and the low latency service as well as the uh, experience sensitive uh, service. No, this is the light cloud solution. Mm. Right. Dan, you guys obviously have a long history with cloud computing, so what did uh, Intel bring to the table here? Well, first off, I'm, I'm very excited to be here with ZTE today, and I wanted to collaborate them on their launch of LightCloud. And LightCloud is pretty exciting for a couple of reasons. I mean, the first one really is is that um, <clears throat> it does enable you to deliver services right from the access site within a wired network. So a lot of the low latency, high bandwidth services, as Mr. Fong was talking about. And what Intel brought to the table was we brought together our Xeon D processor, which brings the performance of a Xeon product in an SOC form factor so you can fit it into a high density solution, so space and power constrained areas that are typically found at a central office site. Okay, so you know, as operators invest in developing, scaling out their 5G networks, bringing that compute power out of the central office and out to the edge of the network is going to be key. So can you maybe give me a few of the highlights that you expect to see operators uh, taking advantage of as they use LightCloud? Mm -hmm. And I think I see, uh, the first uh, highlight is for the easy deployment. Mm -hmm. uh, this solution enables the MEC enabled uh, blade in the access, uh, access layer. So it can, make, it can make full use of the existing resource of the access, layer, access office. And the second is for the uh, premium experience. You know, for the, uh, this solution is uh, deployed in the access layer, so it can offload the video traffic locally to lower the uh, latency, so it can improve the user experience. And the third, I think, is the open platform. Open platform. We use a, a general uh, storage and the computing platform. This, this can be easily used by the telecom operators and can also be uh, leased to the third party as an FY. So this can be bring the more application scenarios to the access network, and we can bring the more possibilities to the future service. Yeah, Dan, 5G obviously a much more IT focused uh, mm -hmm. generation of cellular. So what, what's your take on that, Dan? How do you see service providers taking advantage of light cloud? Well, I think when you look at 5G overall, it, it is uh, not just another G, it's not just providing mobile broadband, it's really about delivering services to both businesses as well as consumers and really impacting a uh, number of industries. So when you think about that scenario, the network is going to be coming much more distributed in nature and you're going to place computes and analytics much closer to the customer. So I think LightCloud is a great example of that, uh, putting a, a mech or mobile edge computing, basically a server, right at the access layer of the network to be able to handle those high bandwidth, low latency use cases, as well as other use cases where they may need to even store data more locally versus shipping it back to the cloud. So, Mr. Fong, now that you have uh, collaborated together on LightCloud, how do you see this relationship between ZTE and Intel continuing into the future? Yeah. Um, before I answer these questions, I want to describe our, uh, our market share in the, for the Pong, Pong network. In this time, we are number one in the 10G Pong network. And we also we are the first in the industry to deploy the uh, Combo Pong. And also, we are the first in the industry to uh, complete the validation of the 25G WDM PON in the 5G front hall in China Telecom. So I think with the experience, with the years experience in the market, telecom market, we fully understand the, uh, the requirement and the challenge of the telecom operators. So we want to hope in the next year, in the coming years, we want to uh, keep the uh, strategic partnership with the Inter to give the new service and the new uh, product to meet the requirement of the telecom operators.
Good. Yeah, the Intel is uh, obviously taking a lot of partnership-driven approach to 5G. Such a complex equation, Dan. How do you see this partnership with ZT developing? Well, first of all, we have a really long-standing uh, collaboration with ZT, dating way back to even 3G, believe it or not, uh, but also a really great partnership in LTE. So we, we're very excited about extending the, really the collaboration that it really started in the mobile core network uh, to the mobile access network, now to the uh, fiber or the PON access network as well. So we see uh, Intel continuing to develop the right silicon to allow you to place those workloads wherever they need to be in a distributed kind of 5G environment as well as partnering with the overall open source communities and all these standards bodies to really enable uh, 5G to really deliver the, the economic reality that we all want and to be able to deliver those services really seamlessly to both businesses and consumers. Very good. Well, gentlemen, I really appreciate you taking some time here at Mobile World Congress to keep us up to date on Light Club. Thank okay. You. Great job. Thank you. Sean. And another information I said I want to is that uh, I just uh, talked to Daniel that uh, in just in this day, first day of the MWC, a lot of operators have visited our booth and the Intel booth. They yes. show the great interest to our solution, and they ask us to give the commercial charge in their in their network. So I just uh, uh, told to Daniel, in these days, both our companies should put more resources to this uh, joint uh, innovation. Well, that's great that the reception has been so immediately positive. Okay, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you.